the global economic crisis uh, has created, uh, along with globalization, which is a longer term phenomenon, has created a sense of insecurity among people uh, that often manifests, ma manifests itself in intolerance and exclusion of the other. And for many years, the other uh, was Jews, the other was Roma, still is the Roma, uh, but increasingly uh, the other, the, the most prominent other among uh, extremist groups and, and racist populist groups are Muslims. Um, and so it's absolutely essential to combat uh, negative stereotypes and prejudices against Muslims. There are many European countries that have uh, long-standing indigenous Muslim populations. Um, most people talk about Europe as if it were a Christian entity solely, but you have countries such as Russia and Bosnia and Albania and uh, various other countries that have large indigenous Muslim communities. You have <coughs> countries such as, as Bulgaria um, and uh, you know, Turkey and, and, and Azerbaijan. So Muslims are a part of the European fabric of, of life. Uh, but we didn't really realize this, or many people didn't realize this, until uh, the onset of global terrorism. And uh, all of a sudden, we woke up to the fact that there are Muslims among us, and they were, in the public mind, uh, linked with this threat of, of terrorism as well, which created huge problems for them. It, it led to uh, ethnic and religious profiling against uh, Muslims in, in, in airports, at borders, uh, by the police. It led to, to prejudice and discrimination against uh, Muslims, in, uh, especially those wearing uh, visible signs of their faith um, on the street, in schools, in the, in the, in the workplace. Um, and uh, it's absolutely essential to educate the European public uh, about the inacceptability of, of racism and, and prejudice against uh, Muslims, uh, to establish mechanisms to address these issues at, at the national level, um, and, and to promote uh, awareness uh, and tolerance through education. Well, education is absolutely critical um, to address stereotypes, prejudices, uh, and to raise awareness at a, at a young age uh, for people in a Europe that is growing increasingly diverse. Uh, the Muslim community in uh, Europe is large, and all trends suggest that it will become larger, and that it is, an in it is a fact of life, uh, and we must learn how to live together uh, in, uh, in, a, in a context of understanding and, and protecting each other's uh, rights. Um, why is education awareness raising so essential? Uh, because discrimination uh, against Muslims and other groups, um, it is not, uh, you cannot predict the instance of discrimination through stereotypes and so on, but it makes it much more likely that it will take place. Um, so one way to combat discrimination is to combat stereotypes and prejudices in education, in public discourse, in the media. Um, and uh, if you do that, uh, you have there's less of a chance that uh, uh, that prejudices and stereotypes will lead to violence against these groups, um, because very often perpetrators of violence uh, point to uh, point to public opinion, point to political discourse as justifying their actions. They claim that they have the support of the broader community. Um, so one thing that's very important is to address this intolerance in public discourse in daily life uh, so that people do not get the impression that their acts of discrimination and violence uh, are justified or socially acceptable. I think that it's absolutely essential to counter the, um, the prejudice that Muslims are so different from non-Muslims that we cannot live together. Mm. This is racism. Uh, you, you have similar arguments about other groups as well, that we are so culturally different that we cannot live together. Uh, I think this is nonsense. Europe has lived together with Muslims for centuries. Uh, many countries uh, have Muslim communities that live in harmony with other uh, people of other uh, religious convictions. Uh, Muslims want to integrate. All the sociological research suggests 
uh, that they do not want to live in separate, separate neighborhoods, they do not want to have their ch children going to separate schools, but that they encounter prejudice from the majority on a daily basis. Uh, so I think it's absolutely essential uh, to promote awareness about Islam as a religion, about the presence and contribution of Muslims to European societies, um, and to counter these stereotypes about, uh, about Muslims not being integratable and, and so on. Uh, uh, because a lot depends on the majority as well. Uh, is the majority willing to accept Muslims as equal co-citizens or, or members of their society? Are they willing to, to try to understand their cultural background and, 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 uh, and their traditions and their mores and their habits and their, and their, and their way of life? Um, and to understand that Muslims are not all alike, that there's a great diversity within Muslims in Europe. So I think these are absolutely essential to, to addressing intolerance against Muslims as well.